My name's Jacqueline, and I share my experience of being a carer. My husband was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about five years ago. When over a period of about a week, I noticed that my husband's mood had changed. And with this, it, his behaviour also changed. I noticed that he began getting, what I would say, obsessive behaviour, putting some things which he deemed as valuable into a tin putting his wallet beside it. And I noticed that that was like a wee security point that he had. And he kept it in that same place. This wee tin and the package was missing for a long time. And he was very distressed about it. And it was very challenging for him and for me, whether it was during the night or during the day of everything being upturned, looking for this, these belongings. It came to a head where one night he came in in the middle of the night and confronted me, demanding I get up and get that tin in his wallet, which I had no idea where it was. And for a few hours, it was a very um, distressing situation for him and a real nightmare for, for me because I was feeling very um, intimidated, I was feeling very threatening and I was actually fearing for my safety. The next morning I didn't know what to do. I shared the whole thing with my family who advised me to get in touch with my GP. That same afternoon I got a call from the dementia outreach team. A nurse was on the other end of the phone asking me about the whole episode of the whole week which I'd given her. She said that um, if I wished and if it was okay, her and another male nurse would come up the following day. The both of them came up the next day and I got my husband to answer the door. And on the doorstep, they explained everything and asked if it was okay to come in. And he very much, in his old self, welcomed them in. At the end of it, they both said that they would bring this and report to the team, at the DOT team and uh, speak with a consultant to see what he felt. The following day, it was a dark November winter's day, pouring rain, when I got a call saying that there would be a prescription picked up by the pharmacy by a nurse who would deliver it to the door and the medication could be started that evening. So within a period of three days, Everything was covered and you've no idea the weight that was lifted off my shoulder and once that they had assessed the whole thing and that the, etab the medication was kicking in and things were all calming down relatively quickly, they were reassured that um, maybe now we can just carry on as normal, giving me the reassurance that if anything else cropped up, they were only at the end of a, a, a phone line. As things settled down, my husband had no recollection of the psychotic episode, no ex uh, uh, recollection of his behaviour towards me, or the, the tin that he had, or anything else. Since the medication, he's more settled within himself, particularly at night time. The tin was found in an old toolbox sometime afterwards and uh, his bewilderment of how it got there, oh, but didn't even go there. But I can say that that whole episode had been um, yeah, a bit of a nightmare, but also I realised how exhausting it was for him after he'd came out of these particular episodes over the day as well. So without actually an awareness of what had gone on, he actually felt it emotionally. It was still there with him and caused him some sort of distress. And he needed a lot of reassurance from me that everything was okay, which I had to put aside and everything be okay. Yeah.